You don't get, oh yeah, we do. We still get to make a dude. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. We go this way, we gain enough life that we still get to do this. Fire up that, and then attack our opponent. Exile, doesn't matter, probably just that. Boom, boom, boom. And play a land. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Greetings, happy friends, and welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more playing Magic so you don't have to. If you've ever stolen your opponent's win con to take them down, let me know in the comments below exactly what did you end up stealing, because that's exactly what this deck is doing. We are playing Blue Black Steal Yo Stuff Control. Uh, yes, there is a mountain in the deck because we are running Valky, God of Lies, and later in the game we could potentially play him as Tybalt Cosmic Imposter. But other than that, it is your typical blue black control deck with card draw and a top end of Leer to be able to repeat all these spells. But we are, if you notice, we, I mean, I guess you can count Leer as a wing con and our Hall of the Storm Giants, but our real wing cons are stealing our opponent's wing cons. We do this with Siphon Insight, um, Invoke the Wild, and Kodos the Silent Spider, all being cards that steal cards from our opponent's deck, so then we can in turn play them against them. And let me tell you, oh wow, it's a lot of fun. I mean, Valky God of Lies does the same thing as well. I apologize. Play it early, take a land, a creature out of our opponent's hand, and then later on, Valky becomes that creature, which could be very powerful. But that is the deck. So let's give a shout out to the latest member writing the struggle bus, Neil Ober. Ober? Ober. Thank you so much for writing the struggle bus with us, my friend. I really do appreciate your support. You mean a lot to me. You rock. And uh, this Demir control deck is for you. All right, we have our colors, we have some ramp, we have Celestis, we have all the things. We're going to keep this one. <clears throat> we are going to keep this one, my friends. Green. With a pack leader. Okay, okay. Um, I don't think we Balaki just yet. I don't know why I keep adding that extra syllable in there. It's not Balaki, it's Balki. I'm sorry, I don't know why. Um, will Celestis and maybe hitting them for Meat Hook for three should be enough to kind of get us there, right? Ranger class coming down, maybe? They're trying to think between Ranger class and... Uh... Pack Leader? Not Pack Leader. Uh, that's a Pack Leader. Oh, it is, right? The Wolverine. All right, Ranger class, okay. Not Wolverine, you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go here, here, and then send it back. And then we can go for three next turn. I don't think there's anything they can play on three. Now, ooh, it's straight werewolves. So if they play a Tovalar, we're kind of in trouble. I'd prefer a Stormseeker here, is what I really want. Excellent. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We denied them the card advantage. We take quite a bit of damage here, don't get me wrong. But we're at least stopping their haste, which is the big one. Mm. All right, we hit our land. Go here, hit it for three. So now there's a good chance that I'm going to play Valky to steal what they got and then flip it, maybe? I also have Behold, one, two, three, four, five, two away from being able to play Valky on the Tybalt side. You can also Deluge. If we draw land. Nice. Yeah, that's a little scary. That's a pretty quick clock. That is a pretty quick clock. Missed our land drop, unfortunately. I'm not the biggest fan of that. 
Do we risk the Valky here? <clears throat> hmm. Trying to think here. So what do we... We have options, right? They can plus that. I think we just need to kill that and bide our time. Yeah, unfortunately missing the land was kind of a bummer there. But I guess we got to do it. Well, it would have been nice if we had the invoke to steal it. I mean, that's kind of one of the last things we want them. They want to typically play, right? So maybe that's a step in the right direction for us. Um, still really upset we missed the land draw. Okay, they're going to level ranger class. Excellent. Oh, that was... Then I'm really glad we killed the Raiju. Very glad about that. Um, they can attack... Nope, they can't attack for one because the land was tapped. All right, come on. Uh, yes, we will take that action. Because we want to make sure to hit our land drop. So we pitch a memory deluge. All right, we hit our land. Good, 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 good. Um, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we just foretell here. I think we foretell and then send it back. And then that way we have the option of deluging, beholding, or well, I guess that's pretty much it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem with dropping Valky is they have three creature lands. So there is a good chance that they um, can activate one of those to kill Valky. I don't know if that's good enough, right? So what are we looking to do here? Uh, probably going to go ahead and fire off the deluge Ooh, that's awkward <clears throat> that is awkward so let's let's deluge another valky is it weird for me to just take the two lands oh yeah we get a land derp Ooh, that was that was my mistake. I forgot we get a land out of that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have taken the other Valky actually. So they don't so playing Valky is only creatures, so we can't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we're missing our red now. wasn't a bad hit for them it was not a bad hit for them at all one two three four five six seven i'm actually starting to think we should have probably played the valky just as a blocker but we can also fire off the okay uh i think i'm gonna trade is that crazy yeah i actually think i am gonna trade here It is a little scary. Our opponent is being very aggressive too. Um, just throwing that out there. So... Yeah, I guess we just Valky so we don't get ran over, unfortunately. Valky, see what they got. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Really, opponent? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, we know what we're doing next turn. All right. One, two. I played a land, right? I did. So we'll be hold for full value. Yep. Luckily, that negates the ranger class. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Ooh, man. Yeah, that's 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 a good amount of damage coming through. So what do we need here? 
Them hitting us with lands, pretty solid. All right, let's behold. Come on, looking for our masteries. Yeah, we're just looking for our masteries to be able to interact at fast speed. Is that it? Yeah, okay. I don't I don't know why he keeps doing that. Another Valky. That does let us block. Alright, so play Storm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can kill that one. I I do we just die though? I think we just die, right? Because they can activate both. I think we have to actually go here. Come on. Come on. That's unfortunate. We can't block either because we can't give them. Because that just makes it an XX. It doesn't give us the counters. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have actually played the hall. Kill this, gain a dude. One, two, three, four. Oh, you know what? Maybe. This is very close. This is a fun game. <clears throat> a very fun game. Yeah, I think I needed to actually play, not play the hall. Path of Peril and Droid Disruption. Neither of those work here. So bottom those. Another path. Gosh. We just can't catch a break right now. Um, yeah, I guess we have to go here. Them destroying our Celestis was actually pretty huge, honestly. Seeing just the wrong side of our deck, unfortunately. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's really funny. I think that's enough to kill us then, right? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, oh, just whiffing. Did we see our masteries? We didn't. Yeah, it was huge for our opponent to uh, hit that Celestis. All right, well. No attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hit a land. Reckless Storm Seeker. Okay. So this turn, our opponent decided not to fire up the lands. Oh, man. Yeah, we just take it. <laughs> wow, opponent. Now we draw our mastery. No! <laughs> oh, no. All right, so flip this. I, I think we're just dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two. All right. Oh, we can't let it flip in the night. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think we're just done skis here. Alright. So let's see what they drew here. I think we're dead regardless. Because this exiles, so we're not going to get a card out or a life out of it. I just didn't know they were going to play that. This is super interesting. Uh, a Raiju, I believe, does it, right? Pay six, so they can't get the counter on something. Okay. I wonder... So let's see how they're going to do this.
Oh, yeah, I think we're just dead, unfortunately. Yeah, gosh darn it. So, mastery killing that. We're still dead. Oh, it doesn't put the counter. We're at one. Oh my gosh, we got so lucky. Oh, but it stacks, darn it. Oh no, we're good. Okay, whew. Ooh, this is, this is a nail biter, guys. We just don't have any life steal though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think we just don't. So one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can't do anything else. Path of Peril does nothing for us right now. Oh, what a game. What a game. I think our opponent messed up by playing the Stormseeker instead of um, leveling up or just attacking with more than one thing. Oh, this is stressing me out. This is stressing me out. It just took us forever to get our Baleful Mastery. It, like I said, once again, it was absolutely huge for our opponent. And I messed up by playing that second Valky because we had another blocker here, right? Once we flip this, I actually don't know that interaction. I think it counts as a Vorin Collect. So we actually, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't kill, you know, like two legendary creatures. So one, two, three, four. They could fire up that one, then fire up that one for one, and then we would die? Because I think this triggers after combat. So they actually could kill us. Well, no, that's right. We could fire off the hole. The hole. The hell. Oh, man. What a game. This is, this is wearing me out. <sighs> Path of Peril doesn't do anything right now, unfortunately. What a nail biter. I hope our opponent didn't tilt because they're very much still in this, right? So they didn't play whatever card was on the top of their deck. So that's a good sign for us because I feel like they would just windmill slam that. They can fire this up for one. Then that makes three dudes. We block the big one, right? I think they still, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting we could fire off the hall of storm giants. So maybe it was correct to play it last time. If they don't attack us, then we just deluge looking for... Has to be a Celestis just so we can start gaining some life here. Yeah, it looks like our opponent tilted, which is unfortunate, right? I mean, <clears throat> maybe they got baby aggro. That could be a thing, right? It is the weekend. They might be on daddy duty. All right, let's go. All right. Deluge now. Uh, and then we grab... Eesh. Heal the Ruin, Mastery plus Celestis. That's awkward. I guess we have to grab the Field of Ruin plus Mastery to make sure we don't die. And then hold that, go to our turn. Play Field of Ruin, play Leer. And I think that locks it up for us. Cause now we have the ability to activate Field of Ruin plus Mastery, right? Yeah, okay. I think we got it now. Gosh, that was so close. That was so close. Yeah, it looks like they got baby aggro, unfortunately. What a game, man. I don't know. I Like, it's hard to say, right? I think they had us dead if they activated both lands and attacked that turn that we had talked about. That being said, you know, we also ended up playing our Valky into the other Valky. I got tunnel vision there, so I don't know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate you guys watching the channel time and time again. It means a lot. I'm going to continue to brew for you guys. Um, so yeah, you guys rock. All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a little slow, but I think it's doable. We're going to keep this one. Portel on two, probably just draw on three. 
think this works good for us. Eva Reckon Array. Alright. There's our land. I like that. Question is if we're gonna fire off Kodos on. Ooh. Aggressive opponent, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I think we are just gonna go ahead and fire off the Behold. We have our lands. So what are we looking to do here? Probably find a Celestis, help us ramp up a little bit would be nice. Okay, fair enough. I can appreciate that. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, opponent. It's actually pretty good for them. Um, go ahead and behold. Ooh, Blood Chief. That's, we're definitely going to take that. Question is if we're taking Mastery or not. I think, I mean, more removal is never a bad thing, right? Yeah, let's just take them both. Oh, nice. Uh, and, yeah, I think we Blood Chief's Thirst here. Just kind of deal with that and hold. Our opponent could still play another one, right? Yep. Let's see if they fire it off here. Doesn't look like they do, which is kind of nice. Could kill something. I think we're just going to go ahead and fire off the meat hook and let them flip the curtains. Problem is we're not going to gain... Ooh, Path of Peril. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to deal with the life. Wait. Yeah, it kills everything. Okay. We're going to take three here, but I think at this point we've stabilized. We're pretty low. Them doing the early meat hook is pretty solid on their part. Okay. Could exile that, but I think we're just going to meat hook here. Keep doing the things. Yeah. It's just me hook for two. I think now it's going to be safe to drop Kodos. Because we'll be able to exile. Oh, uh, let's see. Nice opponent. Nice. But, the thing is, is now we can cut out and take their despairs. So I like that. Oh, they had another one in hand too? Oof. That was close. Let's see what else we're dealing with here. So, just mono black. A pretty decent list, honestly. Probably gonna go ahead and fire off the Siphon Insight at the end of their turn. Good news is, is they don't have a way to get rid of our Despair. So, we are gonna lose a life here. So, pretty legit. But, we have Baleful Mastery for Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So, I'm feeling pretty good about our spot here. Honestly. Oh no. Okay. It's a little scary. Pretty good draw from our opponent, honestly. We're gonna gain two life. We're going to siphon them. Uh, I think we're gonna take Soren. We're gonna take Soren because then we can gain life. Another meat hook is solid. Uh, let's see here. Man, we missed land this time. One, two, three, four, five. Well, this is awkward. Oh, no. We're still good. We're still good. So, let's invoke the spare them. See how they sacrifice. 
Because we have mastery to deal with the hive if they choose to do that. Ooh. Um. Could play the meat hook. No, we just lose. So, yeah. I think we hold here. Uh, we're not blocking, I guess, right? Because this has menace. It does. So, yeah, let's just get in there. And hold. See what our opponent does here. So we are going to give them a card, unfortunately. But I think after this we'll be good. And we'll go ahead and exile that free combat. So they don't get to get rid of um, something. So they have one mana left. Feeling pretty good now, I don't know, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just can't catch a break right now, can we? Uh, let's see here. So, definitely Soren Minus. I am vengeance. Make sure we don't righteous. die. I bring um, my own army. And I think think I think we're gonna go ahead and hold on the meat hook till next turn so we can deluge right because none of these are gonna be able to attack the pace we are at two though so this is gonna be pretty close we're gonna really need to make contact with um with the event wait why do we oh man okay so this is actually kind of scary This is actually kind of scary. Wow. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I, for some reason I thought it was going to be the other way around. So I guess we're dead here, depending on what our opponent drew. Now we could invoke the winds on memory of Toshiro. Okay. So this is very interesting, right? Because... <laughs> Hmm. So I believe... Wait, if it's their turn... Yeah, okay. So we're going to gain two. Is that enough? I don't think so. Valky's pretty good. And... Uh, land? I think we need untapped land. I'm going to take the hall. I could be wrong. So this puts us up to three. We steal one of these and then we don't die right the problem is we mid hook for three. Oh, this is so interesting so interesting thinking hold on so if we steal one we can only meat hook for oh man if we gain three the problem is the way the meat hooks trigger right So let's attack first. That's first things first. We're for sure going to do that. Right? And then what do we do? Steal the four drop. And then play Celestis. Is that correct? Invoke wilds. Steal the curtains. Play Celestis. Play our tap land. We can kill one of these. Did we just kill the adversary? Have we played something? We have. We should minus or plus? I think we plus. I think we should have done that. Reveal. Gosh darn it. Um, and then... To know my bloodthirst. Very well. I don't think we actually bloodthirst anything. So let's see where our opponent drew. What an interesting set of. Oh, they took our me hook. Jeez. Our opponent's been top decking like a champion, man. Yep. So block, block.
Yep. Can they kill us? Demon an adversary. They don't make any dudes. Okay. Well, now that they took... <clears throat> That's really interesting, actually. We could Siphon Insight. We can Valaki Minus. Right? So... I think we, yeah, I think we just kind of do that. So, minus here. Go to combat. Attack to get our life total back up. Play. Val, he is a big dude. <laughs> Let fire rage within your exile. I mean, we could exile that, but I think... Exile here. Mine. Right? Play a land. Geez, so many decisions. Hope I don't mess this up. Kill this dude. One. And then we could still siphon them. Right? Question. Oh, we can. Oh, all right. Cool. We have Kiva that gets our life back. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. They got a hive. Yes. Oh, we got there. Yes. <laughs> Stealing their stuff, baby. Uh, no removal, but Celestis with uh, card draw, and we can invoke their guy. So we're going to keep this one. I think we can make this one work. We are on the play, so I like that. Let's go ahead and start with our Shipwreck Marsh. We are going to go blue-blue, though. So if we need to, we can invoke their strongest card. Blue-black. All right. Let's go ahead and foretell. Probably just going to go foretell, foretell. Oh, no, because we want to play Celestis next turn. Okay. Interesting. Worst case scenario, we can't steal that. Worst case scenario. Least Spellbinder, so guess we're not invoking anything anytime soon. Bit of a bummer, but that's fine. So I wonder now if they spread out the token, the counters, knowing that we could steal one, right? It's actually quite interesting. Apparently not. Our opponent is... Fearless. Fearless opponent. Uh, if we foretell, we could still only do one of them. So I guess we're better off just beholding. Oh, that also lets us draw. And yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm definitely glad we didn't play. Ooh, yep. Let's pitch a land. Which could be wrong, because we do have invoke. But behold, find a... Are they trying to get bigger than our board wipe? Let's see where they put the counter. Okay. Would have been nice if they put the counter on the aspirant, because then we could just kill it with the thirst and wait, you know what I mean? On our invoke the wild. Alright. So looks like it's gonna have to be uh Land and Behold. Jeez. We have another Behold. We're looking for the Meat Hook. It has to be Meat Hook here. A bust. We don't Meat Hook. Oh, Path Apparel helps as well, actually. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, Path. Oh, it's still a good draw, and that's exactly why we do it the way we do it. So let's see what their follow-up play. Blue Black Clerics? Is that what that is? Cleric, Cleric, Cleric. Okay, cool. So if they play the four mana one to get stuff back, then that's the one we steal. Mm. We can kill that by taking three, right? Or we can also just flip it back into day. My problem is we're not playing a spell. So can we play to... Sp yeah, we flip it back into day and then we behold, right? Always beholding. Let's do that. That way this guy's only a two and... Take the action, pitch the Celestis, play that, and then behold. 
Uh, bottom, bottom. All right, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're doing the thing, but that's okay because we know we have an answer to that thanks to our other games. So minus kill that. Can we do both? This is seven. So we can't do both, unfortunately. Can steal that angel though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stealing the angel doesn't feel horrible to me. Why not? Stealing your angel. They play the other angel. We could block here. So this poses a pretty interesting dilemma for our opponent. Is that a cleric? It's, not, it's just a straight angel. See? And this is... You guys, we talked about it. See? I told you. People only have one of these Legion Angels in their deck, and I feel like I see it every single time. Oh my gosh. Well, every single time is a little exaggeration, right? Because there's there have been times we've gone against the white deck and not seen the Angel, but it's up there. It's like 83% that they draw the Angel against me. Very interesting design for sure. They're going to play the other Angel, so they're not going to flip the Cathar. Okay. This is, this is interesting. So do we just play Balaki, kill the angel? Or we could start plussing. That's kind of tempting, right? You have one angel left. The only problem is if we play and then minus on the angel. Hmm. Versus if we plus, then they can't. We can also just exile their angel. Is that better? It stops the chain of events. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I wonder if you guys in chat already saw that line. At the beginning of each... Oh my gosh. Oh... Well, this is awkward. So do we just take the Harbinger? I think it has to be the Harbinger. And then flip it now. And it's six. So they can't kill it with, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, it doesn't have to be right now. I'm silly. It 100% didn't have to be right now. We could have waited till they targeted it. Oh, I'm silly. I'm silly. I should have waited. That was my bad. We could have done a little bit better. The good news is, though, is that we're going to get to make an angel. So we still get to do our thing about stealing our opponent's stuff and things. So we still get to do it! Oh. Wow, is that even better? Man, I'm really tempted to just kill our own dude. No, they have one more. So let's here... Kill one. That stuff. Yeah, 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 we're good. Attack here. And then we get to make an angel. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right, we're doing it, guys. They play their angel. Yep. They've got no more left. And we still keep playing our dudes, right? So the question is, do we pull the trigger on the Meetup Masker here or not, right? We don't get... Oh, yeah, we do. We still get to make a dude. Yeah, I think we do. I think we do. We go this way. We gain enough life that we still get to do this. Fire up that. And then attack our opponent. Exile doesn't matter. Probably just that. Boom, boom, boom. And play a land. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, 
Yes, yes. Apparition, okay. Let's see what they take. Take our meat hook, roger that. One, two, three, they still can't play. All right, angel, okay. Oh no, opponent, oh no. Yes! Oh, yes! I can't believe I saw that line. That line definitely leveled up my gameplay, not gonna lie. Because I don't normally play like that. Not, I would have punted. You saw what my initial line was. Wow, at least we're getting better together. But you guys probably already saw the line before I did. But wow, that was such an interesting game. Alright, we have our double black for Path of Peril with Celestis if we need to. Um, and we have, yeah, I think we can keep this. No card draw, but I think it'll get us there. Uh, against Mono White, there's our second black. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Paul. Because we can go Swamp into Marsh. Fire, okay, that's fine. There we go. If things get a little too hectic, we can Mastery. Let's see if this is an elite... Uh, Adeline. Okay. Uh, we are gonna just kill that then. Ooh, excellent. Yeah, unfortunately, I uh, I don't want them to get the free token here. Um, so we're just gonna let that ride play Celestis here. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. Things are going to plan. We also have the mana for invoking the Wild. Should they play another Allegiant? Okay, Legion is an issue. <laughs> Legion is an issue. Um, if I'm being completely honest. Oh, uh, let's meet hook for three. And then we can, let's see. Hmm. They only have one of, gosh, man. You guys have been on this channel. It feels like... Every time I go up against Mono White, they, they draw the Legion, which is humorous. Uh, let's see. So we have the White. We can play Kodos to steal a card from them. We can steal their Legion. I guess we just Kodos here, right? And see what we draw. And then we wait till they play all their Angels to Path of Peril them. I think that's correct. Oh, we can steal from their hand, right? Exile card, basic land from the points. Great. Oh, from the graveyard. Um. Wait, hold on. Search that player's graveyard hand library for any number. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got it. Never mind. We got the combo. All right, we we we, we thwarted them. Uh, let's see. Emperor, Thalia, portable hole. Okay, cool. We did it. I'm I I I'm not gonna wait. Oops. Oh yeah, they weren't in their hand. They're yeah. So, I won't lie. I... Yep, that's fine, right? That's fine. We stopped the combo. That's what matters. What matters is, is that we stopped... Is this a permanent target artifact or creature? Okay. So, we can't stop their combo, unfortunately. And then, one, two, three, four, five. Apparition. <clears throat> We could steal their angel, though. That's kind of hot. Right? It's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's, let's just steal their angel. That way, they use the apparition, right? They get him for two, but then Path of Peril gives us a four, four. Mm-hmm. What I need them to do is play their uh, Emperor. Ooh. Ooh, baby. We did it, chat. We're stealing all their things. I actually just realized I didn't need to do that. Wait. Why did they get it? Well, that's awkward. I did not know they got it. Okay, so they make Val Valky more expensive. I am not gonna lie, chat. I had no idea that worked that way. <clears throat> Ooh, good play from the opponent. Good play. 
Did you guys know it worked that way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just shy of us being able to exile plus keep him alive, unfortunately. So, I guess. I want to be able to kill her. <clears throat> hmm. If we plus, they can also, so... Can we do both? One, two, three. Yeah, okay, so we can do both. So we go here, kill that one. And then... Here, kill that one. And then... If they play the Emperor, we can just hive it. Okay, cool. Uh, we will decline. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go with the big man himself. And we'll just plus two. Plus two. And we gotta land anyways. I think we just wanna play our land though. Okay, okay. I'm liking where we're at, guys. I'm liking this. Kathar, okay. Yeah, our opponent's going wide. Oh, they're going to kill us. Interesting. Hmm. <clears throat> Interesting. So we could just kill those two dudes, right? We could also just path of peril. So let's pay three life to kill that. So hold on. I'm trying to think what's the best way to go about this, right? Path doesn't seem bad to me. So I think first, yeah. So here. And then we play a land. I should have, yeah, because we're going to minus. Here. And then exile that guy. Yes, take the damage. Oh my gosh, and we could still play these? Uh, sure, we'll take the action. <clears throat> Guys, this is feeling pretty darn good right now. And our opponent scoops it up. Yes! <laughs> uh, we're on the draw. I'm not the biggest fan of having two, hand, two lands, so we're going to mulligan this. And okay. Not great, don't get me wrong. This is not amazing, but we'll keep this one and we can tuck the Invoke the Wild or Deluge. Nah, it can't be the card. Well, the thing is, this could potentially be a removal, right? So I think it is like this. Keep the lands and then we can go... Alright, well now I feel silly. You're going up against Mono White. So we're going to need something like... Uh... Oh, one of our board wipes, right? We're running two Path Perils and three Midok Maskers. So I think we have the ability to make something happen. Of course, them dropping an Elite here would not be great for us. Okay. So their hand is all removal. All right, as long as they don't exile and we draw a black source, then we're okay. So their hand is all uh, kill spells. Got it. I'm I'm gonna wait here. I don't want to burn. I want to give them a card. And if we draw a black source, eh. all right. I'm trying to think. Hmm. 
We can go wait till they attack and yeah, I think we just have to exile. Unfortunately, I don't want to take any more damage than we have to. Ah, uh, that gives him a counter. That's so awkward. We're the ones exiling. Missed another land. We could steal their dude, but I don't think that's correct. So I think we... We can Siphon Insight, or we can... I think we just Deluge. Take the two and Deluge. Right? Yeah, so their hand is all removable. Uh, Balaki plus land. Man, I still don't have our second black. So we're taking Balaki for sure. And then I guess a land. And you know what? I should have actually taken Field of Ruin. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So we behold the multiverse and then siphon insight. All right, see that's something we could steal. We're getting pretty low though, not gonna lie. Getting pretty low, my friends. So Meadook's gonna have to do some work here. Apparition. Okay. Alright. Alright. So we get our second black. Oh, man. Come on. Come on, Dak. Ooh, I have to be careful about that. I have to be very careful about that. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Black source. Black source. No. Come on! Oh, <laughs> we still don't get it! Oh my gosh! That was huge! That was huge! Uh, where is it? Five, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what an awkward game! Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're going first. We have at least one black mana. I think we can roll with this. Dry Disruption may do a little bit of work for us. All right. Dry Disruption, the first major threat, and then we can invoke the wilds. The second one doesn't feel too bad. All right, fair enough, opponent. Blue, white, okay. So, Invoke the Wild is not going to do a ton of work against them, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just play a tap one. I don't think it's going to make a difference against Black White. Now, if they do play Celestis here, can you take an artifact? You can take an artifact. Yeah. Playing around it like a smart individual. Who knows what's up? Ooh. Balagi is a pretty good draw for us. Mm. I'm gonna still try to resolve it as a planeswalker though. I think that's how we get ahead of the control deck. They play one more thing, like a revelry, then we'll go ahead and uh meet up. Yep. Could always Blood Chief Thirst as well. And then keep the mastery up for uh planeswalkers. Feels a little medium, but it does buy us a lot of time. Well, I guess so. Just kill that. So now we have the opportunity to exile all their professors of symbology, which isn't bad. We do not have a market, I don't think. Which is kind of funny. I guess I should have probably made one. Considering that this deck can steal things like that. Behold the multiverse. Do it main phase. Look for lands. Yeah, I guess so. If they counter it, it's not the end of the world for us. They're going to deluge in response. Okay. We're pretty much going to look for lands and a Celestis. Be able to resolve. 
Alright, uh, yeah, we'll just do both of those. Granted, of note, that is not a, uh, black source. So we still only have one black source. But, I think we'll be okay to ferry. You wanna be a great time mage? Alright. Chance they have negate up. I think on their upkeep, we try to counter it. I think that's correct. Alright, let's try to mastery. And then we get to leave up, uh, or end of their turn, we get to behold. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another one. Fair. At least they didn't get to use two. That's the important part. The future looks bright for one of us. So our opponent doesn't seem to be running counter magic. Of course, here we get blown out. We'll see in a minute. Let's see if they draw a disruption us. They could. Completely feasible. One, two, three, four, five. Eyeballing something. I would do it if I was them. Then we'll just immediately follow up with a uh, deluge. Yep, soft coming. Okay. Fair. <clears throat> There's our double black. So, question is, we can exile their deluges? That kind of feels good to me, honestly. I think we do this while shields are down. And take all their deluges. That feels really good. Okay, farewell, absence, test of talents. Jeez. So, pretty strong grip from our opponent, unfortunately. This is going to be very interesting. No creatures for us to steal. No artifact. Oh, yeah, okay. We could steal Faithbound Judge. Okay. In their hand, they have pretty much all the things. So... Valky's not going to stick. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we just hold here for right now. Oh, man. So, test the talents in hand. That's a tough one. That is a very tough one. Respect. Respect. We gotta do something about Kodos. Okay. Okay, full absent. Okay, so we do get to Deluge here. Cool. Uh, yes, we will draw. And we have a creature land to take out to Fairy. I wonder if that is correct here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, that is tough. Yeah, we can't leave him with a Planeswalker. Unfortunately, that would have been a good spot to resolve Deluge, but Only I think we're end up just down. losing this one. Uh, they just have <coughs> okay, nice, nice, super cool, super cool. Uh, let's see. All right, do we get lucky here? We can siphon. Let's do it at the end of their turn, as usual. I guess we could do both, right? One, two... No, we can't do both. We're missing land, unfortunately. I needed to resolve... I needed to do the insight, then if they countered that, then do the deluge. I mean, we at least got bought a part of their card draw out of the way, but, I mean, they got a plethora of things to do now. That's freaking awesome. You know they gotta appreciate it. We gotta let them have fun, right? We gotta let them have the fun. Uh, Insight you. They have all the men in the world and all the counter spells. Test of talent. Yep. We'll, lay, we'll wait till they shuffle. Uh, 
I think we're better off them using the test of talent on Siphon Insight, though, with, I mean, how many cards do they have in their hand? 23 cards in their hand. I feel like at this point, they gotta have another one, right? I don't see us coming back from this one, guys. I really don't. Ward 3. Yep. Yep. 10 lands in hand. Alright. Try to behold. They have the other one. Alright, that resolves. So, black and then bottom. I want to make sure we hit our land drops. Because that's going to be pretty huge. Land, land. Jeez. Um... So land. Guess we gotta keep this for the planeswalker. Do this for one. Actually, I'm not really sure why I did that, to be honest with you. Uh, Deluge? that resolve i don't think so we can invoke the wilds test of talents okay yeah i feel like they've kind of gone off now what are we looking for <clears throat> so they stopped our card draw right i actually need to wait on the meat hook massacre that was silly need to wait till they deployed the uh the exhibition They're leaving the Sai Cummings for the Valkyries that they know about, right? Yeah, Valky might or Valky Plus is pretty much the best shot we have. I think they got us on this one. I think they got us. Our opponent out controlled us. Most definitely. Super cool though what they got to do. Um where are we at? We're at 10 minutes on this video. Okay, we have a little bit of time. Alright. Uh, da -da 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 -da. guess we. I mean, we fire this up. That doesn't feel horrible. That gives us our red source for our Valkyries. They hit the wrong one. I can't tell. No, I don't think they did. All right, blue. And grab our red. Put in the play. And that's it. All right? Yeah, that's it. Farewell doesn't hear our planeswalkers, but they have absence. So at least plusing will let us play cards. Like I said, <clears throat> we'll we'll Um Man, I, I just don't even think it's entertaining is my problem. Yeah, you know what? I'll just give them to them. They got, they got it. They got it. I'm pretty sure they have counter spells somewhere. Well, friends, that is the deck, and holy cow, were there some fun games? Um, man, I guess if I had to make an adjustment, I would probably draw. I don't know. I like invoke the wild feels pretty bad against control decks, but I mean, where are we really at with them, right? I don't know it felt pretty solid honestly to, to, to be completely honest with you this list felt really good to me um i don't i don't think i'll change a thing i i think you can probably make the argument of invoking the wilds and kodos probably being a swap right i think two siphon insights felt correct to me you can easily go th three i guess that's it i guess that's what the flex slots the removal the card draw everything else felt really good to me um, so I think you can make the argument of dropping an Invoke the Wilds for a Siphon Insight. And, and that way, like, you're higher end, you lower your curve a little bit, you're a little more proactive, and then you have a little more play against control decks, right? Where Invoke the Wild felt pretty, like, much like a blank. Um, yeah, I, other than that, deck is super fun. It's definitely, because of the nature of it, it's definitely exciting. I don't think you repeat your games very often because of the fact that 
you're kind of using your opponent's win cons, which was super cool. But uh, I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. Thank you so much for writing the Struggle Bus with me today. And until next time, as always, happy gaming.